Tonight we are playing Catan Seafarer's Expansion and we are playing scenario two which is called The Four Islands. So make sure you watch the how to play video for heading to new shores. That's scenario one because none of the pieces are different. This is all exactly the same. The only thing that we added is uh, one extra three to one port. And just a reminder, the numbers here, we as a family, as a team here, agree that we take out the twos and the twelves. So we added one extra eight and one extra six instead. Kind of makes the game go a little bit faster. If we roll a two or a twelve, we just roll again. So we're going to set up the board. Um, and when you set up for the four islands, for three players, that's what we're playing with, you use the two single expanders, as well as the top and bottom one over there. And then these ones. And we are using 15 water tiles. And that's about it. So we'll set up real quick and We'll come back when the board is ready to go. set up. So as the name states, scenario two is four islands. Uh, the difference is there's no main island, so you can actually choose to build your starting settlement wherever you want. Doesn't matter. Now, the Catan chits are still in play. To get two Catan chits, you must build to another island and build a settlement. So if you happen to build Originally, on these two, the max Catan chits that you can get is four, because you can reach those two. If, however, you place both your starting settlements on one island, you can get a max of six Catan chits if you build on all three of the other islands. Uh, victory points, we are going up to 13. And, oh, let's get these harbors out. So the harbors go. You ready, Ryder? Right here. 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 Nope, sorry, here. 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 And that's here, here. totally random right here. Okay, so that's totally random. I already see a really good place on the board. Eight is on the rocks. And the rock harbor is right there. Shh. Oh, Dad's going to take that spot. Oh, again. Shh. Oh, oh I'm giving Don't away show secrets. Showing, giving away secrets. Okay. I already got my spots in. So we're going to pick our spots, we're going to roll, and we shouldn't have to stop the game too many times for this one. Um, just remember, ships, one wood, one sheep, roll here. and the ships do count toward your longest road. We are playing with Harbor Master. Anything else I need to point out? No. No? I think that's it. That's all. Pretty easy game. The only difference is there is no main island. 
um, just a whole bunch of little ones. Okay, so just to kind of let you know, because we started doing this uh, with scenario one, we always do this, but we kind of started explaining this in scenario one, is that instead of only choosing resources from the last settlement that you placed, we actually choose from, we pick up for both. So we can have a max of six resources in our hand, and we do this just to give ourselves a good head start. Um, have a little bit of everything. Everybody's, we can. everybody's still equal. We all have yeah, and everybody's course. equal. So <clears throat> that's all I kind of wanted to point out. And yeah, well, uh, go in fast motion here, and we'll stop it if we have to. But we shouldn't have to till the end. <laughs> Game over. That was a quick game, actually. Uh, Dad won. Orange won. His his uh, boats toppled over there because somebody got angry. Won't mention anybody's name, Lily. But he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's got longest road eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Going to, the island. to get to the other island. And that is for islands. Um, it was actually a quick game. Normally I don't think it's as quick as this. Um, super fun. So keep playing and have fun. And